Introducing Harmony 365. Harmony 365 is the newest version of our popular Outlook sidebar. Now that what gives coherent interface to store, search, and share content across all Microsoft 365 document repository locations, SharePoint, Teams, and OneDrive. Here's a short video demonstrating some of Harmony 365's exciting new features. You'll notice the familiar Outlook window. On the right side is the Harmony Outlook sidebar. In the new version, Harmony 365, you'll notice that you have access to not only SharePoint, but also Teams and OneDrive, as well as new entries for favorites and recent. We'll look at some of these features and see how it's easy to both upload and classify documents and emails in any of the Microsoft 365 locations, but also it makes it very easy now to find that information that may be spread out all over the place, which is big news because when you're working at home or working in a hybrid fashion like you are today, it's very hard to find information because it gets scattered. Harmony introduces new search features to be able to help you to find that information very quickly. Let's take a look at some of these new capabilities of finding information. If you're familiar with Harmony, you'll know that we've always had the ability to look at different SharePoint sites. But now you also have the ability to traverse and locate team, different team sites and different team locations and drill down to get to channel where you can find files in chan different channels, as well as being able to do the same in your OneDrive. Additionally, now in Harmony 365, we've also added the capability to find your recent items. So your recent items might be recent locations or they might be recent documents or emails and you can find them very simply by going to the recent section and if you want to right click on an item you can actually go directly to the location in the Microsoft 365 uh, and find it as you see here it's in the accounts documents general email teammate we find this document that I was looking for in the recent locations Taking advantage of Microsoft's new capabilities, you also have the ability, going back to the top, of looking at documents that are shared with me. So these are the new share capabilities that Microsoft 365 introduces, and there's the ability to find those documents right there as well. Using favorites, it's easy to upload documents and attachments directly to locations that I use frequently. So here I'm going to show, I take this email from Harmon Young, and I'm going to drag it across to a favorite location that I use frequently. And the document gets uploaded, and the attachments get uploaded directly to that location, and I'm uh, easy to, to use that. Now, because there's required metadata, I'm prompted to add metadata, thereby ensuring that the document is not only stored in a proper location, but it's also classified so that I can find it later. We're going to show briefly how you can find information using metadata with new Harmony 365. Harmony 365 also makes it easy to share information with other people, especially today when we're all working from home or working from remote offices. It's very difficult to be able to get information or help people. And now with Microsoft 365 and Harmony 365, it's easy to share information. Now, Microsoft 365 has new modern share capabilities, and these are now surfaced in, Har in Harmony 365. Let's see how that works. So I'm going to open up this project folder, and I want to share this meeting agenda with one of my colleagues, Harmon. So what I do is I right-click on it, and I'll see that I can now share. These are share capabilities that are provided by Microsoft 365, subject to all the compliance and security impl implementations that are done internally. So these are not uh, Harmony security features. These are built on top of what exists in SharePoint. You can only share this with people that are have capabilities in Microsoft 365. And of course, you can set up whatever permissions you've allowed in your organization, sharing with a link, anyone, anyone with a link, people with existing access, and so on. We're going to take the default settings here, and we're going to share this document with Harmon, it searches for that person, and we're not going to type a message, and we're just going to send Harmon that link, and now Harmon has access to that document as permitted by my security uh, IT manager. Uh, but it's all done easily 
directly from the Harmony sidebar without having to go to the browser. Now, when you're working remotely, it's really hard to find information, particularly now when it's spread out, not just across SharePoint, but now SharePoint, Teams, and OneDrive. So what we've added now in Harmony 365 are some fantastic capabilities to be able to search for information using a variety of search criteria. Let's take a look at what we're gonna, how this is done. First of all, we're gonna go back to our old locations and we're gonna find one of our favorite sites. So we're gonna maybe look at one of our IT projects and we're gonna search for information in this IT project. We're gonna look for documents with test, text search for test. So I'm gonna type test up here. And now I also can set the, um, the search criteria. So you see here that I'm searching in a team. So it allows me to search all teams and groups because this is a team. If I were to pick something that was a uh, SharePoint location, I would see different search criteria. So I'm going to select the uh, SharePoint location. And now when I do a, the same search on test, I look, I see that I can do a search in the current library, the current site or all locations. The ability to set search scope enables us to, on the one hand, set the search scope broad enough so we get enough results, but not setting it too broad where the number of responses that we get is too, too many to be able to actually find what we're looking for. So we're looking for test and we click on the arrow and now we find uh, 12 items and we've able to find those very quickly by using the search by text. Sometimes search returns many results in any case. Let's, for example, try searching again for test, but now we're going to search in all locations, not just in the location that we were in before, that library we were in before. In this case, we're looking across our entire site and we see that we have 400 items. My goodness, 400 items. How are we going to find what we're looking for? Not to worry, Harmony 365 adds some great new capabilities here. You'll see in the middle, there's a column that shows us which document repository the, the uh, search result comes from. So there's, there's one from OneDrive and a number of these from SharePoint. But if we want to filter on this, we can right click on the filter at the, at the top. And we see that the, the, there are results from OneDrive, SharePoint and Teams. So let's look at what we have in Teams. Let's see if there's any documents that we want to find in Teams. And here we see that there's a small number of them and we can find exactly the site name. And by right clicking on it, going go directly to that location. So we can very quickly zero in on information, even though it might be uh, spread across many different locations. And while we're working at home, that's a really important capability because it's very hard to reach out and ask colleagues for help when we're isolated and working on our own. Another way to search for information is searching using metadata. So you'll see it underneath here, it says search by, you can search by a bunch of different metadata fields. Some of these are taken directly from email. So there's email header mapping. I can search from and to in emails, but some of these are also taken from metadata that we're using in this particular implementation. And you can import your own metadata uh, to be able to search on your particular own metadata fields. So for example, I wanna look for the enterprise keywords. I'm looking for documents with the word management. And I'm able to see that I've got a number of board meeting agendas uh, right here and I'm able to find that. So I'm able to search through enterprise keywords. Uh, another way to search, so for example, I'm looking in, in my lo different locations. One of the metadata fields that we use internally is client name. We categorize our documents by client name and I'm just gonna look for documents that are with client name KPMG and I'm gonna search across all my locations and I'm able to find that also very quickly uh, important documents that working with, diff with the client. So uh, using a ver variety of different metadata fields mixed in together with filters by application, it makes it extremely easy to zero in on the information that you need, even though it might be spread across many different Microsoft 365 apps. We've just seen some fantastic new capabilities in Harmony 365. We invite you to take a closer look especially if you're an at-home worker or you're working in a hybrid mode where you need to be able to share information with colleagues and find information across all the Microsoft 365 apps. If you're an existing customer, you're eligible for a free upgrade. If you're a new customer, we invite you to try a new 30-day eval 
by using the URL in front of you here.